Good morning, I'm Captain Ward Taylor and Sky Team 11. We're over at the Hopkins campus where one person that was inside there decided to walk out on his own accord. Then city police started to make arrest at this location. We understand right now they have three people in custody without incident. Not, no incident whatsoever. Here comes the fourth one right now as we speak. They're getting ready to put them into transport vehicles in the rear of the location here. But so far, city police have been able to handle this without any major incident. There's been no fighting. Uh, it's all been peaceful. Uh, and here's the last individual right now that's coming up uh, to the transport vehicle that has been taken into custody. So this should be wrapping up rather quickly at the campus. We're still trying to get more information, but for what we have on the ground, we're going to send it down to the ground with Megan Pringle, and maybe you can update us on more. Megan. All right, Roy, thank you for letting us know how it looks from the air, from the ground. You can hear a lot of chanting as police take those protesters away in handcuffs. I was told that the first person that was taken away was not a student. The next two were students. They're not sure about the following, but the uh, university spokespeople wanted us to make that point that not everybody inside the building um, are students. So here's what we can tell you right now. This is happening in Garland Hall, which is that building that you um, see where police have been pretty much all morning long. This first started out with three warning uh, calls outside of the building telling the students that they were coming in, that this was their opportunity to come out without arrest. And then they did the same thing once they got inside the building. They had to, it sounds like, saw their way through. We could hear a loud buzzing noise. They went in and gave three more warnings. And again, this is all happening right now. You can probably hear those protesters yelling. They're cheering on um, people as they come out in police custody. So they have been inside of this building since May 1st. They came in, um, chained the doors shut, and have basically been holed up in there, uh, which is uh, problematic according to university officials because Garland Hall is an important place, uh, disability services, which is one of the functions that happens here. And um, at this point, we have been told that peaceable protests started in early April. This was all due to the um, implementation that's going to happen with um, Hopkins having their own police department. Students um, are demanding that that doesn't happen and that's when they came and started doing sit-ins in early April but then on May 1st things took a turn when they started changing themselves inside of the building. So the situation now appears police are in there. It should be wrapping up pretty quickly but we will stay out here and keep you posted. Jason and Mindy back to you.